I mentioned in the last video that the iOS 11 for the iPad and the iPhone now does screencasting and so I am now screencasting from my iPad so that I can show you a couple features that are available on the iPad or a mobile device, it can be an Android device as well, um, that, you, that just aren't available um, on the desktop or laptop version. Okay, so one of the things you can do, and I'm going to go down to one of my assignments, and I can look at student work, and one of the things I can do is I can send a quick private message. So what's really kind of neat about this is you can sit at home with your phone and have office hours for your students, and during that time, if you set up your notifications for your device, now it's separate from your online classroom, uh, you can get notifications on your phone for during that time. And you could be watching TV or doing something else, and every time a question comes from a student or a comment, whether it's a private comment or a comment under the actual assignment, then you could be answering those questions, helping students to be uh, productive in their homework or whatever it is they're working on and not come to school frustrated the next day because they couldn't figure something out. So to add a private comment I went ahead and, and clicked on the student and down here below I can click to add a private comment and I can actually type that in. If it's a private comment obviously the, only the student is going to see it. If it's not a private comment and I'm just adding a class comment then the entire class can see it. If you want to tag a person that has actually made a comment and you want to answer their question directly, you can put a plus sign in front of their email address and then the student will know that that is what you're targeting or that is who you're answering. Okay, I do need to go back to my other account as a student. So as a student, you have a couple options when you're actually doing an assignment. And again, I'm going to go to my assignment. And as a student, I can add an attachment. And we know that you can add an attachment from Drive. You can add a link. You can upload a file. Um, but you also in here, besides adding, you know, something from Docs, Slides, Sheets, or whatever, um, you can use your camera. And when you use your camera, you have the option of doing a video and submitting that video as your assignment. Now you can't do that on the online website, but you can do that, and a student can do that from the, their phone or their iPad or their Android tablet. So that is something that's really neat. They just hit the, the button to start recording. They can turn the camera around and record themselves. You can have your students explaining you know, how it is they're arriving at the answers they're getting. And so you're, you're really getting into... Um, how the student is solving the problem and letting them explain things um, that you wouldn't necessarily get uh, in a regular homework assignment. Okay, so that's something that I think is really a cool option. And I'm going to cancel it down here. Turning your notifications on and off, you're going to go to the menu button and you're going to come down here to settings, go to notifications, Notice under device notifications it is enabled. That means they're going to pop up on here. When in, it is time for you to go to bed and you don't want to answer any more questions, just click here. It's going to take you into your settings for Google Classroom. And it's being awfully slow. And you can then uh, turn off, go to notifications, and turn that off. Notice at that point, you're not going to get any more dings or beeps or anything else uh, telling you that you have a notification. So you can, you know, set those limits as far as when your students can actually make those uh, comments and things and expect you to answer back. And there may, you know, on days that you can't do that, you just tell your class, I'm not going to be available. Um, you can still add comments, but you're going to have to count on your classmates to answer those, those questions. So it doesn't have to be every day. When you come back in the next day or you wake up in the morning, you can turn those notifications back on in your settings. And you can, as you notice, it can play sounds if you want it to. 
you could also have all these different choices as to how the notification is going to show. So we're going to go back to Classroom. All right, and all your other settings um, for Classroom are in there as well. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that you can do just about anything you would do as a teacher on your laptop or your desktop computer. Um, so anything you do, like adding assignments, announcements, questions, and things, you click there and you can add all of those. You can also, one of the neat things is, is if your student go in and I'm going to, let's say, grade this. Okay, under Kate, I'm going to go in and look at their work, and I just attached a document to here. One of the neat things you can do on your tablet or your phone is you can hit the little pencil and it brings up your options down at the bottom. And so I can, you know, make comments, I can draw lines, I can highlight, say this is what I want to do. I can tap and it will open up a, a text box and I can actually type comments in. So for those of you that like to do that, um, like we used to do on a non-digital assignment, you can still go in and make those comments, do that, you know, writing on their, their papers and things. The neat thing is when you are done with it and you save it, it will save it as a PDF and the student will have access to it, but it will not change their document, which I think is really cool. So, all right, so I'm going to discard my changes on here because we don't need to, to see that. But so there's some different options for you.